One of the biggest conspiracies against human consciousness. Actually, it is against just life being fulfilled. The fulfillment of all life is simply in each one recognizing we are already fulfilled by life, realizing we are already fulfilled. If we simply realize that life is very simple, that we are already fulfilled, then everything is completely finished. Instead, we get caught up in feeling we can never be enough. When we are left to fight for food and shelter, simple education, cannot afford medical care, then we question our very right to exist. We question if we have any value whatsoever. The Varnashrama Dharma, subsequently rewritten, redefined, and forced upon Hindus in India as a modernized caste system, was completely abusive and a false interpretation of Hindu social structure. If we look simply, we all know Hindu civilization is the only civilization that existed more than 5,000 years ago and is still alive today. Out of any other civilization we searched for, none other was alive 5,000 years ago and is still living today. The cultural society gatherings of Tamil Sangam has a written history going back 11,000 years. 11,000 years for a single lineage of the Hindu civilization is at least several times longer than most any other civilization we would name that has even existed in the past 5,000 years itself. Hindu civilization is not just old, it is at least several times older than any other civilization we can even study and learn about today. What made it so strong? One of the great strengths of this civilization that is the only one to stand for the past 5,000 years and documented by living institutions of today to go back even much further than 12,000 years was the tremendous leaders it produced and their great compassion and care for humanity itself. Any civilization that thrived so long like the Hindu civilization, is absolutely unparalleled by anything else known to humanity today. And it survived because of its tremendous leadership, organization, and equity, sustainability. The great enlightened beings of Sanatana Hindu Dharma embodied fulfillment in life. They radiated fulfillment and completion. They were the epitome of fulfilling life's purpose. The fulfillment of all life is simply to realize we are already fulfilled. Each and every one of us carries the possibility of fulfillment and purpose in life simply by recognizing we are already complete. But we are born into a world where not a single country constitution, not a single country mission statement is to ensure fulfillment for all human beings. How can it be? 200 recognized nations as countries and hundreds of unofficial nations, groups of people existing on the planet, but not a single group of the 8 billion people works for the humans? Not a single group has the goal to fulfill the lives of the humans? Then what are the nations, countries working for? If not for the humans, then for who? The ancient civilizations of Sanatana Hindu Dharma were founded in the conscious principles of Veda's Agamas. They produced great enlightened beings who led tremendous societies for many thousands of years because they were pro-humanity, life positive, for consciousness. No country has that today. Planet Earth does not have human success as a consolidated goal anywhere today. The whole humanity needs a revival of conscious-based living, of consciousness-based societies. Life provides everything we need for fulfillment right now, but we have completely lost focus, knowledge, and even simple recognition of this basic fact of our everyday existence. 
to learn more about the success of the ancient Hindu civilizations and the need humanity has today for reviving the complete life positivity of by far the world's oldest and most successful and only pro-human civilizational model we know of today, go to kailasa.org slash global services.